Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books. I'm in my house, going to make a video for you about eBay. What day is it? It's Tuesday, April uh, 5th, 2022. Recently, eBay introduced some new listing stuff, uh, template, etc. So I'm going to go right on the computer right now and show you. So this is the first time that I'm using it. So I have no idea what it's going to look like, no idea what it's going to be like. Don't know if I'm going to like it. Don't know anything about it. So you're going to experience this firsthand with me. Again, this is a new template or setup of how of the listing page. So how to actually list items on eBay, which is, you know, the most important part of eBay is as a seller is, well, you know what I mean? It's the most, if without the listing page, without knowing how to use it, without it being effective, it's not, um, it's not great. But it's, you know, for now or if, since I've been listing on eBay, it's it's been fine. It's been good. So they, they're including video and I don't know what else. It says a more modern look, which is not necessarily good. But we'll see. So this is me using um, the listing page on my laptop, on my computer. So, of course, you can list on, on the phone as well as on the app, which I do. I will do that. I will list on the app when I'm in my sale, working, that kind of thing. But I prefer to be at home listing on the computer. Um, but the app is convenient. So I've been listing today uh, a bunch of CDs, going through all these CDs that I have photographed a long time ago, and I'm finally getting around to doing them because the kids are home for spring break, and I'm with them today. Anyway, side note, so let's get to the computer one, two, three, right now. All right, guys, here we are on the computer, and as you can see, so this is, okay, this is the normal listing page. This is a CD I just listed, just went live on my store, eBay store, and the uh, <laughs> the areas that I always fill in are the title, custom label, uh, condition, condition description, oftentimes with, with certain items like a DVD, a CD, the conditions, the description will say the same. Then I have pictures here, so I'll be replacing these. And I go down and there's this is for a CD, of course. So the format CD, artist, release title, I do that. I do genre, record label, style if there's a style, uh, the year here. And then this is my standard template for the item description. I'll, ch of course, change the year, title, that kind of thing. The rest of it will usually stay the same. Then I have the price, taking best offers, either taking offers or not right here. I don't touch anything else. And then I drop down domestic shipping, uh, free shipping or not. Um, if it's clicked, free shipping. If it's not, then I'll go in here and, and uh, figure out the weight. And I do the promoted listing standard, usually 2% for most of my items, and then just list the item. So that's how I go about listing on eBay. I try to do the same type of items. So for, for instance, right now I have a box of, I don't know, 150 CDs and I've already listed Oh, I don't know, 30 or so, 40, something like that. Um, and so I'm going through that. So here we go at the top. A new listing experience is coming. We are excited to bring an update to the listing tool in the coming weeks with a modernized look and new features such as video upload and image cleanup. I don't know what that means. So let's try the new listing. Try out this new listing tool and tell us what you think. You can switch back anytime. Switch listing tool. One, two, three. Here we go. Oh, man. Welcome to the new oh, to the new listing experience. Our new unified experience lets you hold on every device. Okay, from any device, same way from any device, and includes new tools to make it easier to do. Here's what you can do with it. Attract more buyers by adding videos to your listings. Wow. As if that's easy just to make a video. But anyway, uh, upload photos directly from your mobile device. Well, okay. Optimize your photos with the new editing features such as image cleanup. All right. Okay. So they've changed it by putting the photos at the top, which I think is good. That's a good idea because uh, photos are really important. And yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter necessarily <laughs> because I'm going to do the photos anyway, wherever they are on the page, but that's handy. So I don't know what any of this is. Let's see. Delete all photos. Import from mobile. Import from mobile. How do you do that? Check your mobile device for next step. 
only photo formats can be imported from mobile. A notification is, have been sent to your mobile device to begin, begin adding photos. Huh. Uh oh. Okay. So never mind. I don't know what that. I didn't get a notification. I don't know what that is, but that's a cool idea. I'm gonna have to play around with it, but I guess, so the good thing about that is, of course, um, it can just grab them from the phone versus me having to plug my phone in uh, to my laptop and download all of the, or upload all of the photos and then switch them over. So that's potentially good. Oh, got remove background. Huh. Okay, background is removed. Oh. Does that look better to you guys? I don't know. Anyway, so this is all live, guys. Not live, live, but you know what I mean. This is my first time. Okay, so we have... The title, Light Fuse. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, so here's where I add video. Sorry. Oh, okay, I can just add video. All right. Um, item category. You know, with anything that changes on eBay or Amazon that has to do with the app or the website, it's always a matter of getting used to it. And change is not always necessarily good for these kind of things, but um, once you get used to it, it can be good. Item specifics. Add as many details as you can. I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, edit all options. Oh, okay. Oh, they tell you what's required, what's recommended. Well, that's a different way. That, that reminds me of the actual, the Actually, the app. That looks more like the app than the website. Condition. Oh, okay. The condition description. The description. Oh, look at that. Custom template. Huh. That's cool. So you can have the template for whatever you're listing. Although that doesn't make... I mean, that's fine. But I would just rather have, you know, 10 vintage hardcover books. And then I already have the template in here because I... Uh, picked an existing listing or one that sold already and I'm just dumping in the different information but that's a good idea regardless is having a template option there up to 10 templates it says um, okay pricing delivery okay all right I don't I mean, other than it looking different, um, <laughs> okay, so so the pictures at the top, is that better? Um, maybe, because you can just get it out of the way, uploading it really fast. I like the idea that you can get it right from your phone. That's a plus. This is just laid out differently. So instead of it all being over to the left, it's centered, which... I mean, these kind of changes, I don't know how they come up with them in terms of what, why they think it's good. I mean, they must test them out, I guess. But uh, to me, I guess, aesthetically, it looks cleaner to have it centered like this. I don't know if it's more productive, but it's centered, so that's nice. Um, but it's just a matter of me getting used to what I need to fill in and what I don't need to fill in as well. Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, the template here is kind of nice. So I would say the photos at the top is nice. The fact that everything is centered is nice. This custom template option here that I can uh, create a template or, or include a template that I, up to 10 templates uh, that I can use is nice. Pricing, you know, all this stuff, delivery, it doesn't look like it's much different. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. You guys can let me know if you've started using it. Um, but that's about it. Uh, yeah. Switch to classic view. Well, let me uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, this is my first impression. 
I haven't messed around with it. I, my initial reaction is just to not use it because I, I won't be as fast. And I'm trying to be fast with listing. So usually these kind of things, the way they go for me, is I stick with the old one because it's faster for me because I'm used to it until they force me to use the new one. And then I just start using the new one and get comfortable with the new one. That's kind of how it goes for me. Let me know what you guys think about it. So um, let me go back to the video and get out of this here. Okay, I'm back, guys. I'm out of the computer. Let me know what you think of it. If you've tried it already, um, let me know. whether you, Just by what you've seen or if you've tried it personally, I know a lot of people that watch my videos do sell on eBay full-time or part-time or have been doing it a long time. So I'm curious to know what you think. I do like how it does seem smoother, does seem simpler. Uh, there's less options, it looks like, or maybe less kind of all over the place. The, the current one, it's weird that it's all to the left when I think about it now, seeing it centered. And as you scroll down, there's just so many options, kind of overwhelming which I can understand if you're a new eBay seller. For myself, I know which, which part of the template is important to fill out and, and to always include in my listings, but that definitely takes time. There's a learning curve, like everything else, but let me know what you think. I think it was pretty good. Uh, again, it's gonna take time to get used to, um, but we'll see if I'll actually use it until I'm forced to. Right now, I'm not gonna use it, but I might try it out, who knows. Thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I talk about everything that has to do with reselling books, media, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, um, vinyl records, tape, audio cassettes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, reselling it on eBay, Amazon, and locally. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Take care. See you in the next video.